9843, right? Now, in this session, we'll talk about how to create account receivables invoice for a particular sales order, for a particular sales order. So if we want to create a account receivables invoice, nothing but customer invoice for a particular sales order, make sure that the order is already created and it's confirmed pick slip, pick wave, pick slip and shipping then we'll be able to create an invoice, account receivables invoice. So it comes from AR module. First, we have to verify the order status. What is the order number? 98413 right now. So generally, we can check it from here. Once we log into the applications, go to Navigator, Order Management, Tasks, manage orders here we can enter order number click search button and i can see that order number status here actions switch to fulfillment view In fulfillment view lines go down go to the tab called general tab there will be an orchestration process number to track the complete order information. Now, system is showing clearly the goods has been shipped to customer location. It's scheduled, reserved, shipped. Asset management is not applicable. Now, we are going to raise the invoice. We are going to raise the invoice over here. So, if we want to raise the invoice for a particular uh, sales order, we need the access to the business unit, whatever the business unit we are having. So this sales order is created for the business unit called US1 business unit. Here we can find business unit name, US1 business unit. So what we have to do is now, we need to have the access to the program, go to schedule the process. We have to run the auto invoice program to create an invoice for this sales order. Go to scheduled new process. So auto invoice is a program which we will be using to create a invoice automatically based on the sales order. Import auto invoice is the process name. taking some time. You don't have that. So what system is showing this process is not exist, is it? Let me search with import word. So import auto invoice is a program name. If it does not exist, then we have to add the roles, account receivables module roles to the user. We don't have. Okay. 
let's go back to our implementation user. We don't have the access to F FSMR security console. So let's log in as an implementation user here. Now go to tools menu, security console here. Go to the tab called users tab here and search for username here. Let me add account receivables roles to the user. This user is already having order management roles and inventory roles. Now we are going to add account receivables. To go for uh, accounts receivable manager. Accounts receivable specialist. We have two roles for account receivables. Let's go for save and close. Let's go for data access. Account receivables data access means we have to provide business unit. So we are working for US1 business unit because the sales order is created for the view called US1 business unit. Let's go to financials, data access, task, manage data access for users, sorry. Manage data access for users. We'll go for selecting the username here. OM underscore user and the role name. Receivables roles. Choose the role name here. Account receivable manager, security context, business unit, and uh, this is. Select second uh, role name here. Account receivable specialist. And we can do that here, US1 business unit. Let's go for submit LDAP process here. And let's log in as an employee user and perform the transactions here. I will try to run this auto invoice program here. Tools menu, scheduled process. Okay. 
touch for the process import data invoice program. We can find the process name. After we add the roles to the user, we can find it. Let's select this process name. It will import invoices, credit memos, debit memos from legacy and order management systems here. Now we can find the business unit name is US1. Transaction source, we have to choose distributed order orchestration because it will be used to import the invoices uh, based on our sales order. We DO, distributed order orchestration. And of course, the uh, default date if required, we can specify whatever date and remaining is not required. If you have the details, you can enter. 98413 is our sales order number. So it will be little bit faster because based on your sales order number it will go for pickup right. let's go for submit takes couple of minutes time to generate the auto invoice based on the sales order Now we can find this uh, hot invoice program has completed successfully. What we have to do is we have to check whether the invoice has been raised or not as for the sales order. Let's go back to navigator. As we have already assigned account receivables roles to the user, okay, we can find that receivables menu here. Go to billing option here. So once we go to billing options, go to the task list here. And we can search for the transactions here, manage transactions, customer invoice here. And here we can find transaction source, distributed order orchestration, and we can choose the transaction date today. If you know the customer details also, you can find, otherwise click search button. You can enter a sales order number in the reference field and search also. Yeah, now we can see that this is our invoice number, invoice number, and this invoice is created for our sales order. This is, uh, total invoice amount and customer is business world customer. Now this is our uh, transaction number, invoice number. And where do we find the sales order number for this? Click this option called show more. Show more option will tell us the sales order number here. There is a field cross reference. Here I can see the order number 98413 is the order number we got. So now the invoice is created for the sales order 9841. All the bill to location details, ship to location, sold to location. So all this billing information will be retrieved from sales order. And I could see that items information here. Six items has been ordered. We can find the total information here. And in case if the sales credits are entered in sales order page, we can get. And uh, we want to know the payment information when customer is supposed to make the payment. Can find the due date and miscellaneous information we can find here. Which legal entity it has been generated. If the PO number is there for the sales order, we can find those details. Okay, let's go for save and close here. Okay. 
वन जीरो सेवन थ्री नाइन जीरो इस तरह से एक साइड थैंक यू